Well, for many, any relief is really welcome as prices continue to rise with inflation. And WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller spoke with drivers about what they are doing to try to battle their budget. Drivers I spoke with say they have mixed feelings about a gas tax holiday. Some say they'll take whatever they can get, while others say saving a few bucks for each fill up doesn't help when it comes to inflation. $82. For a full tank of gas will really only last about a week and I'd spend another 70. With a national average around $4.95 a gallon. When I see see it go go past 50 and, and then I just see it keep keep going and going up and up, I'm just like, man, this is this is not okay. Drivers like Damian Thornton are looking for ways to save money. I'm, I'm like, do I really need to spend all this gas going here, going there? Adrian, who recently retired, is thinking about her bottom line as well. Every time I go to the store, everything that I'm used to paying this amount for, it's suddenly up a dollar, sometimes dollar and a half more chicken, eggs, all of that is much more expensive. So what can you be doing? We took those questions to certified financial planner Andrew Tudor. He says before budgeting, find out where your money is going. We see the tick up on the gas pump and like we're hyper aware of it, like it feels bad. But there are a lot of like smaller things that we don't feel and a lot of times they come out automatically. And when it comes to canceling that summer vacation, he says you may not have to if you pick a budget and stick to it. Ideally having that money set aside and not really using it on credit cards where there's just a bottomless swipe. He says the biggest thing to keep in mind is that these hard financial times don't last always. Our goal is to try to make sure that when it ends, we haven't completely ruined financially by borrowing too much, by depleting our savings. Gas Buddies Patrick Dehan says there is good news for drivers. He predicts gas prices will continue to come down for the next week or two. In Bellevue, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.